different um okay so yeah i'm here too this is charlie poo hi charlie poo you're <laughs> such a sweetheart <laughs> hi there and your your name is john john and you run a channel called hidden highways hidden highways and you're from what minnesota uh yeah i'm originally, originally? well no i'm originally from st louis missouri and then i lived up there about the last 10 uh -huh. years so that's yeah it's um but yeah, I like it up there pretty much. It's, um, you know, it's cold, but I kind of like it up there. You know, it's kind of more, it's a lot more laid back. You know, that someplace like this is not real, like, real busy. Right, not, right. Not real busy and stuff, you know, and it's just kind of like, you know, it gets, yeah, it does get, like, negative 20 and stuff like that. But it's okay. like, you know, you okay, got to, like, cool. you know, but. And, and, okay, your channel, Hidden Highways, you just, you, what, you just drive around? Well. And look at Hidden Highways, or? Uh, that was. I think I picked that name just because it sounded a little bit like mysterious. I got that off of like there was some Stephen King book where he's talking about like this guy who goes between the different dimensions, like these hidden highways or something. I don't know. Yeah, it yeah. kind of had this mysterious. But as far as like actually the it actually fitting what I actually do on the channel, it probably like doesn't. I've actually thought about changing it to something different, but it's like no, I like the name. Like, I think it's cool. Yeah. I think it's cool. Yeah, it's like but. What I'm doing is just mostly, I mean, I, I have a house back in Duluth. I mean, it's, well, it's a house me and my roommate rent, but it's, um, um, but it's more like I, I was interested in the whole like van dwelling thing. So I did this thing where I kind of like built my van up and stuff. And then, you know, um, oh, you're you know, so I was interested in the idea about van. So I've been kind of like on a trip for about the last like month and a half. Although for two weeks I was at my dad's, like just staying in his nice camper down in like Pensacola, but that's, you know, so I've just tried to do on that channel. Yeah, mostly just stuff talking about some of the stuff for informational. I mean, the most, the most popular video I actually had was this one, the only video I had that really actually did really well, that actually had like about 16,000 views, was the very first video I did where I just talked about like, it was basically like a geography lesson disguised as a van dwelling channel. Okay, okay. Yeah, what I, did is I, I, said, I said like, new to van dwelling, these maps will point out, you know, good places for you to go or something like that. And, it's just, and then I just kind of talked about these different maps. And I like, hey, this, so this is a part of the country where there's not many people. This is a part of yeah, the country yeah, where yeah, it doesn't yeah. rain, you know, it's called. A, I like, I like YouTubers that go to places that everybody else doesn't go. You see them clustered now. Everybody's clustered in Orlando. Everybody's clustered in Los Angeles. We see the RVers oftentimes all over Texas, San Antonio, you know, the same places over and over again, you know? Yeah. And it's nice to see people going to, di out there in a, Minnesota and Alabama, yeah. and you don't see a lot of YouTubers looking at all the crazy places in in all some of those you know the other forty six states. You know they all they're all in certain places. You know. Yeah, yeah. I haven't even actually probably haven't even been like a lot really even in this area. Although you know, well obviously sort of for good reason, just because this is not going to be like a real friendly area. You know, it's not going to be real easy to camp and stuff around here. I I camped at that Walmart like a on Lee Highway the other night, but I think it might have been actually kind of illegal there, but you know, yeah. kind of. Yeah, different. you don't see, you don't, I know, I noticed that, you don't see a lot of RVers in parking lots in, in the urban area. Yeah. yeah. Once you get out to Manassas, Warrington, further out, it might be a little bit better. The, the parking lots in the urban areas are smaller, They're, you don't have these expansive places you yeah know? like you know and and i've talked and i and one reason i i hear is a lot of rvers don't like to come to the northeast is because of that it's it's harder to be an rver here it's not as many places to camp uh, -huh. uh there's a lot every town has restrictions you go to new england i've seen i think nomadic fanatic was in new england a while back and every place you go no camping no you know no oh, overnight yeah. parking even the r even the walmarts you know uh -huh. and it's hard to do that Actually, you know, I might just, I might just, I'll just pause mine, and then when, then I'll maybe later on, I'll more ask you questions, and then maybe, no, that's okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah, but if you're yeah. filming that, okay. So, your, ch uh, how long has your channel been up? Uh, just about a year, I think. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah it's um, yeah, I think it was just last year I started. I had, I had the idea of kind of like getting a van and stuff, and I think it was right. It might have been around like January last year that I got a van, and then I happened, or maybe it was a little before that I, I started like watching a lot of these channels. I think it might have been like, maybe some of the. It might have been some ones like Novatic Fanatic or some of those guys jumped maybe into the Mystery Thirteen. He's yeah, like, yeah. One of, there was another guy um, that I that I at least used to really like. I haven't watched him as much. There's a guy named Will Prowse. I don't know if I've ever heard you mention I've him. I've heard. I've watched some yeah. of his stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. a real real brainy guy. He really and in some parts he really made like make it look. Fun. He almost makes it look like his living in an RV in the Bay Area. It's almost like a big party. It's like oh yeah, I'm out of my. You, you don't have to do. But he's but he's kind of like up and down because he always like you know one time's like oh RV. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to like. Um, Japan and visit the world and that lasted for about two weeks and then yeah. he's back and then it's just yeah. like and then he's back in it yeah so that was but um but as far as my thing yeah so I so I kind of started that and I just kind of like um started making the channel under the van dwelling genre even though I wasn't really actually doing okay. much okay. I didn't actually, it was a while but I was actually spent I actually spent like about the nine months like building my van which took forever you know just 
you know, then, then I went on my first trip, like in, um, let's see, it was like around Christmas time. And then, then I've been on this trip for about a month and a half. So cool. it's like, How, it's, uh, okay, cool. So do you, do you, uh, wh where have you been traveling? What, what area, um, what parts of the country? It was basically like, um, okay, so this, um, this trip, what I did is I, okay, I came, I pretty much came straight to like, um, South Carolina. And then I was, uh -huh. I was actually there for a few weeks. Um, part of the problem was kind of like, I kind of got made friends with some guy, but I was kind of like maybe was maybe helping him a little too much with like fixing his, trying to get his car fixed and all this and being his taxi and after a while. So it's kind of like, I got a little, <laughs> got a little roped into that. So I probably wouldn't have stuck there too long, but that was kind of like, yeah, but that was like, um, so that was, yeah, that was maybe a little bit, that just kind of shows you got to be careful not to be like, you got to be helpful, but not too helpful sometimes, you know, like, you know. <laughs> a lot of people talk about the monetization. Have you, do you make any money on the road at all? I mean, do you, uh, do you no, make I any don't, money on your channel? No, I don't, no, because I think How many subs do you have now? What did it's, you say? It's, it's, it's maybe getting to about 300 now. 300, yeah. Okay, yeah, so you yeah. need about, what is it, 1,000 You need now. at least, yeah. Like yeah. Even, even with 3,000, like I got, it's, you don't make much yeah. money. Yeah, yeah, because I'm not even... See, I've got like a, I've got a job, like a remote job that I do, so I'm not really okay. Worried well, about do you want to share what that is? Uh, uh yeah. So rough, the, just generally, you know. Yeah, like yeah, the one, the main job I do is like this thing, kind of like managing these websites. It's kind of like um, fairly basic stuff. Not a lot of like code and stuff. It's just mostly just kind of like you know, yeah. like hey, put an ad up for this place or put up this. Yeah. Make sure okay. like. And then okay. then the other thing I do is more. I've done some kind of like freelance writing and stuff for like some local stuff in Duluth, but it's, but mostly like this other writing stuff I do is mostly for my one friend, Robert, who kind of owns like this public relations company. So he has me set up doing like these, like writing like these blogs for places right now. I'm, <laughs> yeah. Right now I'm, I'm, he's, he's, he just started me on this new project where I'm kind of like going to be kind of like ghost writing this book for this guy doing this kind of like self-help kind of stuff. So it's like kind of, okay. so cool. it's kind of, cool. yeah. Like, Let's, can we take a look at your van? Uh, sure. I'd love to get a little quick tour of it. Yeah. All right. So this is. John's John, right? Yeah, yeah. John. John's. Uh, what is what is the the make and it's, model? It's a '99 Chevy Venture. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of a. The inside's kind of a. With a very thing, artistic you know. scratch. Oh yeah. That Look was, at that. Look like somebody that, key your car. Well, that was before I bought it. <laughs> that was, yeah, they, it they, almost they, looks like it's like a some sort of a decorative stripe. Yeah, I looked maybe, at it for the second. And that's kind of neat. Oh wait yeah. a minute, it's a scratch. Yeah, maybe you could actually like paint it to where it looks like it's supposed to be there. Like. <laughs> do that. You could do that. Put flames coming yeah. off it. You know, and you could you could make it look like a. a a decorative feature anyway cool okay yeah i just bought that that um that thing on top i just bought that the other night like yesterday and i put it because i i wanted to just um because i just realized i mean it kind of like cuts back the stealth factor a little bit but yeah yeah but i was just realizing like i need to like get it to where i could like have um you know stuff easier to find because that's about one of the main things that's frustrating in a small thing is just if you can't find what you need when you need it it's, right it's, right Wait a second. Oh, I can show you here. Like, yeah, let's just let's just get a quick look. Okay, so the the front's pretty nondescript, but it's it's um. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can see that I I have like this curtain here. Okay. Now, this is, there's like a curtain back here, but this is now this is actually like a wood. Okay. Thing, thing here. Yeah, this is actually. Did like, you do all the work on this, or did you have someone else do it no, for I, you? No, I did it myself. I mean, there's not. I think it was creative, but there's probably not like a right angle in the thing. You know? Okay. So it's okay. Like, you know, it's like <laughs> it's probably everything's cut crooked and stuff, probably. But and then here's where I got like um. Yeah, Charlie has to always be with me everywhere. So. Okay, so this is my stuff. See, this is oh uh, yeah. This is okay. I got this. This is my pure sine wave inverter. Here's my microwave that goes to the other side. Okay. Here's now these. This is um, this here, this, and then up here. I actually have like this, <laughs> this, this inflatable like sailboat that I bought. Uh huh. Although I tried it down like when I was staying with my dad down in Pensacola, and the thing is like it seemed like it would work, but it seemed like the guy who invented the thing he didn't put enough <laughs> thought into the steering system. I think I might have to like try to see if I can come up with a different kind of steering system because it was like tough to. You know, because I because I like like sailboats and stuff, and I thought it'd be really cool to have some way of like where you can just, yeah like, yeah with you all the time. Okay, sailboat. okay. Yeah. And then, um, and let's take it. Let's see the living space. That's, that's why you're like the journals guy, because you gotta like know when to cut cut the guys up when when the guys who um I just ramble on forever. So that's yeah. okay. That's <laughs> okay. Okay, now this is um. Oh wow, you really got it. You really got it full. Look at that. Yeah, this is like some that, bread. That's, uh, my, that's my water. Yeah, I don't have a lot of food in here right now. This you can't really take it out. This is actually like. It's a suburban furnace. Okay. It points this way, which actually I haven't seen like any, I have a video on that, but I haven't seen like any, any other van person who's actually put like one of those in a, in a minivan. And there's like these, there's like these vents here down here. They uh -huh. have these metal vents where it, you like the exhaust vents. So it doesn't like, it doesn't like put carbon monoxide in like in moisture in your car, like the way like a buddy heater does now though. Okay. Yeah. Hold on a second. Hey, there we go. There's the living area. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. So, okay. So. This actually folds up to where it's actually not too bad to sit on. Okay. But it's like, okay. but um, I don't know. I got the microwave. And one thing I was trying to do is like, if you can see, like, if you want to, 
look on there for if that does that have a light on it? Yeah, I, I, but, I can see it. I can but it's basically so. what I when I was going for this concept of having like all these little pouches for putting stuff just to make it to where everything would be like. I, in my one video, I called it like the world's largest utility belt. Okay. Where I was just trying okay. to like have it like everything be within arm's reach. You know, it's just okay. Like, and yeah, yeah, it looks very cozy. Look at all that. Look at all the electronics on the wall yes, over there. Yeah, some of them got to take down and stuff. But yeah, it's um. I do have a solar panel on there, but on top of that, now it's kind of covered by this. Do you room. have any? Do you ever get people knocking on your door? Security uh, people, or you no, know, but it I doesn't look like somebody. No, staying but I, in here. but you know, I haven't really actually done much actual like stealth camping. I mean, I really like most places I've been staying at so far have either been WalMarts or somewhere like out in yeah, the woods. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, maybe maybe like last night at, at that that one in Lee Highway that that in um, Fairbanks that might have been like the closest to like a place where I could have gotten in yeah, trouble maybe because yeah. that might have been out against the rules well I wasn't sure because I walked in this it was like one of these signs where it take you like you got people behind you it's like one of these signs like do, 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 do. it take you like an hour to read you know <laughs> it's like you know <laughs> but very, yeah, very cool but very cool but yeah but, but the answer no because I haven't, I haven't actually done like, much like real like stealth camping yet okay okay very so probably, good probably done with that part very good